is a prohibition museum. Might have to check that out. Hello. Hello, how, how are you? you? Good. How you doing? Hey, how you doing, brother? Nice to meet you. Welcome to the American Prohibition Museum. Thank you, sir. As you can see, we just stepped back in time. <laughs> we stepped back in time. <laughs> so what's this all about? It's about Prohibition, you know, um, from 1920 to 1933. Yeah. Prohibition was enforced with the 18th Amendment. Okay. 21st Amendment repealed it. Uh -huh. Lasted 13 long 13 years. years. So were there a lot of like mob places here yes. in Georgia? Well, not in Georgia. Probably not in Georgia, but there was a lot of um, mob places. A lot of mobsters actually came to uh -huh. Were there some like, like speakeasies and stuff here? Though? We have some speakeasies here. Yeah. Like, oh. We got one called Marihara. I heard there's a secret speakeasy. Yeah. Where's that? You gotta look it up. Okay, I gotta it's, look it the up. The name of it is Marihara. Marihara. Google, Google that. Okay. And um, they'll give you the password online. Okay. I see you got your yeah, we gotta. Yeah, we're we're doing a uh, YouTube. <laughs> I'm just traveling the world, well, checking up. Good to yeah. Meet you. YouTube, brother. Right, Thank you. So this is the Prohibition Museum. And he said they still got some speakeasies around here. Cost me 20 bucks to get in here, by the way. This is like an old picture colorized. My guy got some. Uh oh, they're trying to take away the alcohol. So, then it goes dry. So, they must have had some boats bringing some, uh, some alcohol here. Hello. Oh, we got some guys getting drunk. Wet or dry. Hello. We children want sugar. Don't waste it on beer. <laughs> Vault dry. So I guess they got some marketing. Some marketing for you to quit drinking back then. <laughs> lady to cut out the evil carry a nation temperance crusade trinkets oh this is your hatchet to fight evil hatchetations carry nation some old stuff here this this is some old, old, this is some real old history here. Does anybody know who this guy is? Oh, look at this one. Look at the natives fighting. Custer's last fight. That's probably worth some money right there. John Let's go. Um, but there's a quote right up here that kind of shows you exactly how excited he was for the passing of prohibition. Last call and for alcohol. The rain of tears is over. The songs will soon be only a memory. We'll turn our prisons into factories and our jails into 
for us is if we're going cribs, men will walk up right now, women will smile, and the children will laugh. Hell will be forever for rent. So they have prohibitions. Okay. So, I came here for one reason to see the Tommy Guns. I came to see the Tommy Guns. Ooh, that might be some. Um, I will say that America definitely did have a drink problem at that point. The average alcohol pollution was close to three times what we Cost the prohibition. Prior to, prior to prohibition, up to 40% of all U.S. taxes were paid by brewers and distillers. Ah, there you go. Follow the money. Follow the money. Well, she got some moonshine in there, too. Look at that. She... She's making her own moonshine. Look at this brewery. This guy. Then they went back. But all the flosses I did last very long. He was shooting. Um, but throwing away the alcohol. First negative, yeah, y'all talked about is So as you guys are kind of already noticing the sign in there. And so prior to prohibition, almost half of the government's entire revenue. And dumping that out the whole window. Making moonshine. Get this crowd just right. The stump will go to the The creek water comes down right there and hits that top of coal. She'll come out of that 120 proof. Well, that's looking good right there, but I tell you what, if you get caught with that 120 proof, you'll pay a fine. If you get caught making that moonshine with that steel right there, you go to jail. Making some moonshine out there in the mountains. Once that creek water hits that moonshine. We got grandma over here cooking up some moonshine. They were making it in the house. Grandma's over there was cooking up some moonshine in the kitchen. Just look at all that hooch. Hundreds of cases, thousands of bottles. Rum from Cuba, whiskey from Canada. Gins from England and liquors from around the world. <laughs> oh man, what's going on here? The Ku Klux Klan prohibition enforcers. The father and mother convinces the anti Oh, they didn't they didn't like they didn't like drinking. Bootlegging. Uh oh, somebody. Drinking and driving? Capone. <laughs> Tools of the trade. You got the Tommy, the Tommy gun, you got a shotgun. Got a knife, somebody got stabbed up. The death toll from liquor containing poison alcohol stood at 11,700. Oh, well, we got Capone over here. Oh my God. Ooh. Sweet Tommy gun. This is the Tommy gun they used to make their money <laughs> with alcohol. It's pretty nice. I like this. Line up. The currency of crime. We got some old money there. Old five dollar bill. A 1928 thousand dollar bill. Thousand dollar bill. Have you ever seen a thousand dollar bill? Oh, 
Oh, look at this suit. It's a nice suit. Got the coat, too. Flapper craze. They had their own dance back then, the flapper. If only we felt better. <laughs> and then you get to the bar at the end. What's up, guys? Oh, yeah. You got moonshine here? I want some of that 120 proof. Slap your mama. I need some 120 proof. Slap your mama from the Savannah Mountains. Moonshine. When that nice creek water hits that barrel. Moonshine runners. <laughs> the cars they use to run moonshine. Police can't catch you in that bad boy. I got 20, I got 20 barrels of moonshine. And instead of their hair, we began wearing short, late burial flapper skirts. It was a movement that swept the nation.